All right, watch fans. I got another one, as usual. I know nothing about this. Totally new to me. So we'll see. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe it stinks. But we'll see. Hopefully it's not one I already have. Okay. Don't know what that is. Shield, maybe? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Super cool Archon. I actually saw one that I liked. Oh, hope this is it. Oops. All right. Pretty cool. It's not the one that I was really hoping for, but still. Really nice. Very pleased. All right, let's see if I can find a video. to say I was very impressed with this watch um, it's a GMT and I do like GMTs I used one when I went to Afghanistan and um, very much enjoyed um, yeah you know I mean it's helpful right to maintain two locations but I have to say the quality of this watch uh, is is quite good so I was very impressed with it and it is a keeper for me now, it shares some of the similar styling, case styling as some of the other watches I have. And I will post, I will post a picture of it if I can remember which one it is, but I'll put it up there. But I've seen other watches that I have that have a very similar case style. Not a bad thing, just something I picked up on. But first thing that I notice when I, when I pick up this watch, quality. The quality is definitely there. I'm very impressed. Now I paid 118 for this watch, um, and this will probably be one that I keep. But the quality is pretty fantastic. Now it's got the Pepsi design, obviously. Um, you know, you guys have all seen that. A lot of people are copying that now. Um, that was originally the Rolex style, but I, I like it. Now um, I'll just get right into the bracelet. Case, bracelet, Everything is 316 stainless steel. You'll notice these these are quite a bit thicker. Like, let me see. I'm, I've, I've got an Ingersoll, which is also very high quality. And you can look at the bracelet size. Um, these are thicker, definitely bigger um, uh, bracelet links. And not that that is necessarily an important thing. You know, just fatter doesn't necessarily mean better, but they are higher quality. I mean, they absolutely are higher quality. And it's important to note too, like I, I know this doesn't seem to be such a big deal, but all of these were originally drilled out just like these removable ones, but then they had to be spot welded and polished. So the effort is there and this is high quality. Now I don't know where it's made. It didn't say um, there's an international warranty and uh, what was it? 
one year warranty. Okay, that's pretty standard. Um, that's what it is, but very good quality. And I like the name too. Um, I'll put a picture. There's a game I used to play as a kid on my Nintendo called Archon Ultra. Maybe it was on the computer. I can't remember, but I always used to like. Um, so, of course, I, I had an affinity for this name when I first saw it. But you know what? It is your standard. Um, it's your standard forehand GMT with a date. And uh, it is, in fact, a Ronda movement. So that's also very nice. I'm going to put that right up there so you can see. Now, it is a, it's a Swiss parts, so it was assembled uh, outside. It doesn't have the certification, of course, that Ronda normally puts with their Swiss, um, Swiss made movements, right? And I think we've explained that in the past, the difference being that the Swiss parts are made outside of the control of Ronda, but they're still made with high quality uh, parts. And the I guess I'd say the accuracy usually goes down about, I don't know, maybe it doesn't maintain as much of an accuracy over a month period. Um, and it's not really such a big deal. I mean, you can always just, you know, it's quartz, whatever. It's not going to lose that much. So, I'm sorry. I live by a park. And I uh, get a lot of motorcycles and people driving by, so. <laughs> but um, it is nice, so it does have a screw-down crown, uh, which, which of course is important for me for a diver, which this very obviously is. Um, there is a gasket in the crown as well as in the shaft, and that's important. And of course you can see, set the date by turning it this way, by turning it uh, clockwise. Actually, I think it was correct. Let me put it back. And it's very smooth. I love these Ronda movements. So 21st. And then the GMT is set by moving it counterclockwise. And I think it is... Whatever. Leave it at that. Um, but so this, of course, helps it with waterproof. It is a 200 meter 20 ATM. Uh, pretty fantastic. It is a really, really high quality... Um, basic diver watch right so 200 meters that is twice the length of a high school football field so for the overwhelming vast majority of us I don't think anybody is going to be diving more than that right you know the guy who uh, who discovered the uh, the Titanic I mean he didn't even <laughs> he used Alvin right which was a little sub and then he went into a big sub too which I forget and the little Alvin you know went around and so, you know, he didn't need more than 200 meters either because he was just in, in his little sub. So, but um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the bezel, um, I'll count the clicks later, but very nice movement. It, it locks solid. And that's one of the things that always bugs me. I have so many watches that I think are good quality and you do that and then it, it doesn't lock really well. Like it goes back one or two, but this is fantastic. I mean, just really, really high quality. So I like it. Um, let's see what else. It does have a sapphire crystal, um, not you know none of that uh, coated stuff, which is still still good, right? But it is a true sapphire crystal. Uh, I think it even says it somewhere. Swiss movement. I'll put a picture of the case back up here because it is very cool. It's very nice. I like the logo, just stamp there. It's also on the, there, that's the name. Of course, on the, on the face and on the back. Pretty fantastic watch. I mean, I'm really happy with this. All right, um, let's do some weight because I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm expecting it to be Let's see. Yep, 180 grams. So that's pretty good. It's pretty decent weight. Um, I always like for a diver watch, I want to be able to actually feel it. Uh, I'm going to do some measurements. Okay, 42. And the, the lug is... 
I'm gonna say 22. Depth, 13. 12.5, good solid 12.5. All right, now, cost. So I paid 118. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the actual uh, MSRP up and I'll put the, the sticker and everything right there so you can see. Uh, if I had to tell you, if I had to come up with what I felt the value of this watch is, being a GMT, a date, 200 meters, and the quality that it really feels like it is, um, I would put this, like if I needed one, and I was in the, and I didn't already have like 50 dive watches, right? I would say that this is a good, I mean, honest, honest price. I would feel comfortable paying $175, $200 for this all day long. And and I really mean that. Um, it's good quality. And I think that is a reasonable price. Um, so $150, $200, that's what it feels like. Uh, I paid $118. I probably won't sell this one because um, I like it. It's nice. So, all right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or there are any specific models you want me to review, please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much.